Once upon a time in Lahore, there lived a man named Javad. He was a hard-working middle-class individual, employed as a schoolteacher. Javad's life revolved around his family, his wife, Aisha, and their two young children. Javad's modest salary barely covered the essentials. Each month, he juggled bills, like a skilled acrobat. The electricity bill arrived, and he winced. It had skyrocketed, leaving him with a choice, pay the bill or buy groceries. The gas bill followed suit, mocking him as it climbed higher. The water bill, too, seemed to mock his meager income. Aisha, equally resilient, managed the household budget. She clipped coupons, stretched meals, and patched up their old clothes. But even her resourcefulness couldn't keep up with the relentless inflation. The grocery store prices danced upward, and the cost of school supplies for their children seemed like an insurmountable mountain. One evening, as Javad sat under the flickering bulb in their dimly lit living room, he wondered how they'd survive. The fan creaked overhead, providing little relief from the sweltering heat. His children slept on thin mattresses, unaware of their parents' silent struggle. Javad's neighbor, Mr. Khan, faced similar challenges. They exchanged weary glances across the narrow street. Mr. Khan, a retired government employee, had once enjoyed a stable income. Now, he counted every rupee, rationing his meals and skipping doctor visits. The medical bills were a luxury he couldn't afford. The neighborhood buzzed with whispers. The middle class was squeezed between rising utility bills and shrinking purchasing power. The government promised relief, but it felt like a distant dream. Meanwhile, the elite dined in air-conditioned restaurants, oblivious to the heat waves that swept through the city. One day, Javad attended a protest rally. Middle-class citizens gathered, their banners demanding justice. They chanted slogans against the soaring prices, hoping their voices would reach the corridors of power. Javad held a sign that read, Electricity for our homes, not just for the rich. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows on the pavement, Javad realized that survival required more than slogans. It demanded resilience, unity, and perhaps a touch of rebellion. He vowed to fight for his family's dignity, even if it meant sacrificing comfort. And so, Javad joined hands with others like him. They organized community kitchens, shared resources, and raised awareness. They knocked on doors, urging fellow middle-class families to stand up. The struggle wasn't just about bills, it was about reclaiming their place in a society that had forgotten them. In the heart of Lahore, amidst flickering bulbs and sweltering nights, the middle class found its voice. Javad knew that survival wasn't enough, they deserved a life beyond mere survival. And so, they pressed on, hoping that someday, their struggle would yield a fairer, more compassionate Pakistan.